that was the tune Moon Dog, which I uploaded yesterday on a video including the notation. Now I played that on that particular video in quite a swingy sort of fashion. Um, but the tune originally, when I first composed this tune, was played straight as you heard it just now. And the, re the tune came about because I was recording a short video on this violin. Now I do occasionally pop short one minute videos onto an Instagram. And um, I use Instagram a bit like a notebook. I just quickly upload a video and um, just to see what a tune would sound like if it were played over a mobile phone or something like that. Anyway, I, I was playing this particular violin, which is called a moon dog. It's, it's got it on the back there, moon dog. You probably may not be able to see that. But anyway, I think it's just a generic Chinese violin, but it plays beautifully. Anyway, so um, that tune literally came out of nowhere. I just switched on my mobile phone and just played. And sometimes this happens, it's a wonderful thing. Sometimes you can just uh, play without thinking and a tune will come out of nowhere. I don't know how and I don't know why, but it's wonderful when it occurs and it, it seems to happen quite, quite a lot. So that's where a lot of my ideas come from. I don't really sit down and work out what I'm going to play. I just put, pick up a fiddle and just uh, let my mind wander, as it were. Anyway, that's where Moondog came from. And that's originally how it was played, quite slowly. And then when I was um, making the other video the, prior to this one, um, it, I just thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if we could give, give this a little bit of a swingy feel? And that's why the uh, first video I've uploaded has sort of a swingy kind of approach to playing the tune. OK, enough rabbiting from me. Let's get on with playing this tune. Uh, this part really is for anyone that, that doesn't enjoy reading musical notation, even though it's probably going to be on the screen right now. But... It does give you the opportunity to kind of play along and sort of pick it up by ear, whatever. So, I, because I don't go too quickly, you see. So, it's not too tricky. I think it's in the key of C. I kind of wrote the notation out um, a couple of days ago. And uh, looking at it, it sort of sounds as though it might be in the key of C. Um, no doubt I will be told otherwise if I'm incorrect but hey it's, it's you know we don't worry um, it kicks off on a D minor chord for the guitarists here and it got, nips across to a G minor so anyway um, this is what the tune sounds like nice and slow you ready three four <laughs> Sorry, an open A. That's the first section. I don't think there's anything too tricky there. You've got B flats and you've got C sharps. But hey, we, we can get around that. <laughs> anyway, the second part goes like this.
repeat. on a double stop. The double stop is the D on the A string played with the ring finger and the F sharp on the uh, D string. So that's the double stop you finish with. Okay we'll play through it one more time now. We'll just limber up and loosen up or whatever. Here we go. Are you ready? Three, four. ending part now I guess this tune could be adapted I rather fancy seeing if I can make it into a duet where, where uh, um, the two violins are playing a slightly different melody. A counter, one playing the main melody and one playing a counter melody. We'll see where that goes. Maybe at uh, some stage I'll get that recorded but it's just a little idea in my mind at the moment and, and I think you could possibly play it in other ways as well. <laughs> Hmm, that's sort of swingy. Maybe it could be played as a dance tune, who knows? Yeah, I can see all sorts of possibilities there. Be interesting to see where you guys go with it. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and once again, um, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Um, I really do appreciate that. So many thanks indeed. Take care. Have a great day. Enjoy your fiddle playing, and um, enjoy Moondog. Bye-bye now.
Thank you.